My name is Ashantin and I make a lot of videos. I play different games, but the one I'm going to talk about this morning is Vintage Story. Vintage Story is a game that is set up to have mods in it and therefore there are some excellent mods. Now I play on a large server called Aura Fury and if you play on one of the big servers you will find that they do have mods and you have to first of all add the mods and then you have to be able to update the mods. Now don't start in the game Vintage Story which I've got up on my desktop here. The place to start is in the game Discord so let's just get Discord up. Right I'm in Discord and I'm in the Aura Fury Discord so what we're going to do here is to first of all go to general and then we're going to go to vintage story you go straight to vintage story is better now you will find that in vintage story the or on any server actually the people who run the servers which is either normally the owner or the admins are absolutely fantastic at selecting good mods that work well with the game and that fit in well, don't have technical problems and also have mod makers who will keep the mod up to date which is very very important. So what you tend to find is that there is usually at the top pinned messages. You can see that little pin with the red star so if you click on that and then it shows you you open vintage story click on manager etc but this the thing is this is the up-to-date mod pack okay and then you've got other things here as well this is what you want if you're going to update the mod pack or if you're starting on the server and you want to load the mod pack look for your server's mod pack so let's click on that and it will take you to this and then you've got all of fury mod pack here any server will have the same thing open the file then you've got the aura fury mod pack here now you can move this straight in i like to just check what i've got so you can see that on this server we have better crates we have Bricklayer, that's a new one to me, Carry Capacity, um, which has been made by my friend Copy Girl, Extra Chests, Farmland Drop Soil, which again has been made by my friend Co Copy Girl, Medieval Expansion and workbe Workbench Expansion. So these are the mods we have. Now you can see that they're zipped files. You don't have to uh, unzip them. You can just place the zipped files into the mod folder. I have my own personal ways of doing this. Now um, there's no doubt that you, if I go back here, um, you can just take this, drag it, I copy it to desktop, which is the mod pack and I can put that straight in. Or if you just want to update some of the mods. If you've got some on your computer already, you can do this one by one just by clicking better crates, brick layers, carry capacity, extra chests, farmland drop soil, medieval expansion, workbench expansion. Okay, one, two, three four, five, six, seven mods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we've got it all. So there's two ways of doing this, okay? Now the next thing you have to do, you don't need your Discord anymore. Let's shut that down. But where you do need to find is where your mods are. So click on your file explorer. And I am doing this, I should say, for Windows, not for iOS. Now the first thing you want to do is to go percentage app data, that's all one word, 
percentage. This is your friend when it comes to mods in any game. So let's find that out. So I'm in my C drive here. And looking down, you can see that I've got vintage story data. Double click on that. And then if you look, you're now inside the data for vintage story. Look at the mod file. Double click again. Come on, open up. There you are. Now I've got more mods than I really need because I've been to different servers. I've got all sorts of mods here. So I've got mods that I don't use on Vintage Story. My own personal preference here. I like to do it one by one. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to put all the mods in just in case there's one. See, this one has a file name that you can see that this is the up to date version. So we are 1.3.0 zip, so we can skip that file. We don't need that one. Better Crates, I believe, is up to date. Let's check. Yep, skip that file. Brick Layers is new. So that's gone straight in. Carry Capacity is up to date. We can skip that file. Extra Chests is up to date, skip that file. You don't have to go through all this. If You can just put the two you want to upgrade. I just happen to be very keen on making sure I've got everything. Medieval expansion, yeah. Now, what we need to look at is the two we've got in here. Now, if you were starting new, you would have a completely blank screen here and you put the mods in and everything just goes straight in, no problem. But when you're updating, you can see that the, the brick layers, I have got 0.3.2 here. So that's gone in. Medieval expansion 3.0.0. And the medieval expansion I've got here is 3.5, whereas this is 3.6, so this one needs to actually be deleted. And that's where a lot of people go wrong when they're updating mods. They forget you have to delete the old ones. So let's look at this brick layers. It's now come up here. I've got 0.32 zip, which was the 1st of August, 0.33, so it's a different version. So we're gonna delete the old one here and now our mods are up to date. So that is the C drive up to date. Now, it doesn't stop there, guys, because I actually have twin drives on my computer. And if you have twin drives, you will find, in fact, my twin drives, the C drive is the first one, the D drive is the second. I've got, I've got external hard drives as well. That's why it's all confusing. But C drive is the first drive. The twin drive is D drive, which is the data drive. Now I'm going to come out of here. I'm going to go back into Discord. And I'm going to go to the pinned messages. I'm going to the mod pack. Uh, I'm going to download it again. I, actually, I don't have to, I don't think. I don't have to download the mod pack again. I can just take it from here. It's already in my download section. That's why I've got that here. So what we're gonna do is the two we need are the brick layers. That's been updated. And the other one was the ooh, medieval expansion. That was the other one, wasn't it? There we go. Okay. So we can now come up to the top. Uh, we're going to delete that. We're going to go to percentage, app data, percentage. Okay. And then this time we're going to look at the D drive. Now I have most of my apps loaded on my D drive to save space on the C drive. So if we come down here, 
you will see that under here I've got vintage story. So we're going to open up this one. And then under here, we've got the mod file up here. Ignore all this. It's this mods you want. Double click again. And you can see that in this one, it's not updated. So we're going to put the bricklayers in again. That's right. So that we've got 0 0.32, 0 0.33 and the medieval expansion. I think that's the other one that updated. Right. So what we're going to do is we've got the uh, old one here. Right click, delete. And then down here, medieval expansion. Here we are. That's the old one, 3.5. Right click, delete. OK, now I've had to store it in two places because I've got a twin drive on this machine. If you've only got one drive, the first section of this video is applicable. I'm going to change now. I'm going to load Vintage Story. But to record Vintage Story, I'm going to have to change the settings on my OBS. Back to you in a minute. Once you have installed your mods, you need to go to Vintage Story. And in this case, I have just upgraded Vintage Story to 1.15.5 when I'm recording this. So now the mods that you've updated should show up in Mod Manager. So you press on there and there we can see that we've got the better crates, extra chests, we have a look down all our mods. I have more mods than is needed for Aura Fury because I have actually been um, into other servers where I have had to have a lot more mods. But you can check uh, here, brick layers, that's just come in. Wet bench expansion 1.3.0. You can carry, you can check here that you haven't got double mods that you've only got one and you can also check that you have the right combination and then the next thing you have to do is to check finally you go to multiplayer i go to aura fury and we see whether it works and whether we can get into the game itself um, and that would confirm to us that everything is updated correctly and everything's okay so we just wait while it sorts itself out and see whether we can get in. Launching client instance. And it's launching it again. Come on, get on with it. There we go. Yay! And here we are on Aura Fury. All good. So that's just a quick outline of how to update the mods and to make sure that they all go in the right folders. Also, of course, if you're putting them in for the first time, this is how you do it. So I hope you find this useful. Bye bye.